what's up guys back with another video she just posted another tiktok so let's react let's go oh don't forget to like and subscribe so i'm here to talk to you about something i'm being accused of that i find very horrible and i just want to explain my side and this actually will be the last that i actually discuss of this I'll matter because what people are saying is a hundred percent not true because what people are doing is blowing something so out of proportion and causing a lot of <gasps> false outrage and there's a lot of mob mentality that is following me from youtube to this platform despite not liking me <laughs> they seem to follow me instantly it's always the haters who follow first and while i don't want to give any more of my mental health to my haters because i've done this for many years and it's done nothing but destroy my own mental health further then why are you here you continue to tell us things you don't have to tell us things and just make things even worse the people from youtube who have been trying to ruin my reputation with false outrage over on youtube are now on tiktok trying to do the same thing how is it false <laughs> going as far as hashtagging animal abuser. So to make a long story short, recently I got married and moved to the Middle East. Irrelevant to the animal abuse? To be with my husband, whom I fell in love with. I actually did a story about it on my YouTube channel, Foodie Beauty. Maybe some of you already are aware of me. I want to first say that I'm not perfect and I have said and done things that i'm not proud of in my past i am trying to move past that i do find that as i'm trying to better myself is she gonna address the animal abuse Self that seems to anger people more and they try to bring me down more so i'm a recent muslim revert and i'm just trying to focus on allah and my husband and my life here in kuwait i'm from canada by the way if you don't aren't familiar with my story I'm waiting for the allegations. There is a lot to unpack, but basically the allegations of animal abuse actually do hit home a little bit. I will not let it affect me anymore because I know in my heart that I do love animals and I've always taken care of my pets. I am highly villainized by a certain group of people who- Pause. She says she takes care of her pets. Hold on. Let's go to the next video. I'm going to come back, but hold on. Okay, she says she takes care of her pets, but this is French Fry Girl, and she saved BBJ. So let's see what she says here. BBJ had five nails growing into the pads of her feet today. Five nails. It was extremely painful what she had to go through today at the vet. Extremely painful. It was, I'm not going to try and make this all about me, but it was a traumatic fucking day today. I go to the vet. They fit us in an emergency appointment because there are nails growing into her feet. I'm already a wreck. We're in that room. Now they've clipped the nails that didn't like embed into her feet. And they tell me now to get the ones out that are embedded, like they, they were deeply embedded. It's going to be painful for her. So it took three vet techs today. They had to put the cone, you know, the plastic. Okay, you heard that. How is that taking care of your pets? Okay, let's go back to TikTok. Do hit home a little bit i will not let it affect me anymore because i know in my heart that i do love animals and i've always taken care of my pets I it doesn't matter what you feel in your heart it matters your actions and what you do for your pets i am highly villainized by a certain group of people who target me and i've been targeted for years in particular by one person who i will not name oh and she just named first my girl that's the woman <laughs> Sorry, my bird is about to go crazy. That's the one who saved BBJ and took her to the vet. I will not name the boogeyman. This person um, is very vile. They've been bullying and targeting me for years. Their entire YouTube channel is a hate channel that they pass off as valid criticism when they do nothing but call my mother a whore, um, go after my family. They mispronounce my Syrian husband's name 
Salah, which means prayer in Islam, by the way. They call him Salad, right in her thumbnails. I've reported it to YouTube many times, and they just do nothing. Hello. So she didn't address the allegations at all. Okay, there's the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.